calling for federal aid. In a letter, Mayor Adams, along with mayors of Houston, Chicago, Denver, and Los Angeles, are all pressing to meet with President Biden about getting federal help in managing the increase of migrants arriving in their cities, as they put it, with no little or little to no support or resources from the administration. The White House press secretary says they are going to continue to deliver support every way that they can. This is advocates are calling on the city to abandon its plan to shelter families at Floyd Bennett Field, citing unsafe conditions. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram has more on what uh, was discovered and what will happen next. We really don't think that families with children should be there. It's just not safe. It's not humane. One day after touring Floyd Bennett Field, a new family shelter in Brooklyn is set to open for migrant families. The Legal Aid Society is calling on the city to ditch the plan. It's an extremely isolated site. It has um, bathrooms that are outdoors and very difficult to access. And these sleeping areas are extremely, extremely tight with absolutely no storage space at all for clothing, personal belongings. Um, formula, diapers, anything. Advocates say it's not safe or sanitary for pregnant moms, children, and migrants with disabilities. Families are living in tents with uh, essentially locked cubicles with no windows and um, basically no covering over them, so they're open, um, but the walls are about eight feet. It would be quite difficult, I think, for a young child to use the bathroom for a pregnant person. During the walkthrough, attorneys with the Legal Aid Society also found unsafe restroom setups, lack of sanitary facilities for children, a lack of a healthy sleeping environment, isolation and education difficulties, and privacy and safety concerns. This comes as the mayor says migrants continue to arrive in the area, more than 130,000 since last spring, with thousands arriving just last month. The city is struggling to find emergency housing and money to pay for it. A spokesperson for Mayor Adams saying in part, since the start of this humanitarian crisis, we have put the health and safety of asylum seekers above all else. Unless those now criticizing the use of Floyd Bennett Field have a legitimate alternative to suggest, we ask they instead join us in calling for meaningful help and a decompression strategy from our state and federal partners. Children need to nap throughout the day. Um, there's absolutely no way to create a healthy nap environment. You can't darken the space. You can't quiet the space. The intakes site at Floyd Bennett Field is expected to hold up to 2,000 migrants, including children. Advocates are now asking the city to use the shelter space for single adults only. Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News.